is my dog Ava. She's a Belgian Malinois. She's two and a half years old. Um, she attacked a mountain lion for me. I would do anything for her and uh, I know now she would pretty much do anything for me. So it's a, it's a, it's a good relationship to have, I guess. I know I can trust her. You're well, going home. Hi. I know, you knew they were here. Uh, when it, I think we surprised each other. Um, and when I started yelling for her, she came and she got it for me. So I owe her everything. She's a good dog. We got there. And within like a minute or two of arriving, it was like attacking us. I would say the whole ordeal probably lasted at most 15 minutes. It felt like forever, but uh, like I was trying pretty much as soon as she stopped crying and I realized she was still okay. Like I could see her looking around, I could see her breathing, but she was just holding really still while it was biting her. Um, I knew that I had to do something and I grabbed some rocks. I started choking it tried gouging its eyes out um, and it, none of it was working. We had her receiving wound management to her head laceration. It, it was trying to kick me off a little bit and I was able to like at one point just like it grabbed its feet and I just pushed them away and it just kept its feet away from me which was nice that was very helpful <laughs> and um, so then when I couldn't I couldn't get it off of her that's when I I decided to go back up to my truck and at least grab something I knew I had, like a crowbar in the truck. I saw some cars coming when I stopped at the truck and I started just jumping around and waving the crowbar around like a crazy person. And luckily, uh, Shannon, the lady that helped me, she pulled over and I said to her, I was like, do you have anything? Do you have a firearm? Do you have a knife? I need a weapon. There's a mountain lion that attacked, attacked us and it has my dog. Um, but she didn't have anything except for pepper spray and I think she grabbed a pipe out of her car or something and um, We went down there and we just started beating on it and screaming and yelling at it and trying to get it off and uh, Eventually it let go. I think just from us being so Persistent and aggressive about it all like I was I had the crowbar in both my hands and I was bringing it down on its head and um, just trying to uh, get it off. I was, I was yelling at it, get the freak off my dog. Eventually it just it let go and Ava ran off. And I was like, whoa, whoa, like where did the dog go for a second? And uh, I, I dropped my glasses, so I had to find my glasses. So Ava was up by the road, up by the truck, and I called her and she jumped up in the truck. And then, uh, that was when like I looked at her and I realized I was like no she's not okay like there's a lot of blood there's blood coming out of her mouth I could see blood here and over here and um, I just I just knew like she just didn't look good and then um, I gave Shannon a hug goodbye I said thank you so much I need to take my dog to the vet and I left and I just took off and kept driving and it was probably more than an hour's drive at a normal uh, speed limit but I was definitely flying um, not making the best choices but I didn't really care especially after she started like convulsing that was when it just got really 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 upsetting and um, yeah uh, um, yeah sorry <laughs> but yeah she uh, she held on for me and I was begging her the whole time I was like just stay with me dog I love you I can't live without you like just don't go don't leave me and um, she stayed and we got here and they put her on a stretcher and started treating her immediately and it was then I had to go and uh, get myself treated